students welcome to the module 3 of the subject applications of computer in pharmacy so this is unit 3 and this particular chapter whose title is applications of computer in pharmacy we shall be studying the following content first we shall talk about the drug information storage and retrieval followed by pharmacokinetics drug design, mathematical modeling in drug design, under computational approaches, we have to study about the hospital and clinical pharmacy, the electronic prescribing and discharge system, the barcode medicine identification system, the automated dispensing of the drugs, the mobile technology, adherence monitoring, the diagnostic system, followed by patient monitoring system and the importance of all such functions in pharmacy. So before moving in detail, so nowadays the computer has become very common tool in all area of science and technology. The reason for its more usage includes is the ratio of the price to performance of the computers also the two main reasons are there is lots of research that is going on for use of computers in the case of pharmacy and also the price which is continuously decreasing from the day the computer was invented so the complete field of pharmacy actually requires computers. Some of the important areas where it is utilized includes new drug discovery, the drug design, analysis, manufacturing of drugs and hospital pharmacy. Other than these, uh, the computers help the pharmacist to collaborate with other professionals also, which is very essential in today's scenario. It provides so much solutions for the time consuming manual task which was earlier done manually. Now it saves time, sol time also. So if we talk about the drug information storage and retrieval system, the clinical pharmacokinetic assessment can be made by a clinical pharmacist. Other than that, there is, uh, they are able to uh, do the retrospective review of the stored data. And the phase 4 drug studies and toxicity screening studies can also be performed using this. There is uh, another drug information request which uses mumps based information system which is available 24 hours a day now. And also in the past DIR forms were stored in loose leaf binders and filed chronologically. Also, uh, the complete search of drug information is necessary for the pharmacist to satisfy the queries about the pharmacological action, the drug interactions, the adverse drug reactions and toxicology etc. And this search job regarding the drug information is actually simplified if we use computer for the same. So, it is not only time consuming, it is pleasant also with an additional advantage of the more thorough search, more timely search, which will be very helpful for pharmacists. Other than this, uh, the computers be, being uh, having their capacity to store knowledge in a better way, the massive drug information or data can be stored using it. So having this access to World Wide Web or we call it as WWW or Internet via pharmacy computers has improvised the pharmacist ability to carry out their duties uh, to higher standards. It has given the access to pharmacy sta staff so that they can collect the store information which is actually available on internet. So it's a kind of global connect which is possible because of this internet system. Also internet 
include those which are on specialist pharmacist resources the internet connects pharmacists to their peers also on global level other than this the professional communities for pharmacist they actually operate in online mode and especially after covid 19 times it has created such an atmosphere which is very conducive for ph pharmacy professionals development so here the term actually drug information as i already told you it simply means information pertaining to drugs the more contemporary term medical information is actually used alternatively so as to encompass the information which is related to health and it is actually the technician's primary responsibility in pharmacy or drug information center to manage the inventory or all resources and these resources should be stored in a very organized way and not only stored in an organized way but it can be retrieved also once required so we have to keep the information not only available but also up to date so that is the overall meaning of drug information storage and retrieval nowadays it is computerized retrieval of information from the large databases especially the medical literature and uh, this is actually called medical informatics and this medical informatics is continuously growing and uh, changing the the boundaries of medical community to access the information related to medical field and for the retrieval of such information there are many international data banks which are available these days so those databases or data banks we shall study in the next video thank you these are a few books that i have referred for preparing this content for you thank you for your patient listening